Hi, my name is John and this is Business Focus. In today's video, we'll be talking about the recent release of a film by one of the biggest superstars, pop stars uh, in the world. I'm talking none other than Taylor Swift. I didn't know she was this popular. The fact that she's made a film is a testament to that. And in terms of her strategy of trying to capitalize on her popularity, not just, you know, uh, uh, making a lot of concert dates traveling all over the world because she has a, a lot of a large fan base but to to her savviness uh, advisory from her, her her father from her family uh, how can she capitalize on uh, being able to reach a wider audience obviously not everyone can afford to to to, to buy her tickets uh, obviously it always runs out uh so if you're able to watch her live uh, you know you're very lucky to be able to do that but for mere mortals the rest of us uh there must be a better way which is why she decided to to make her own film and in this case uh is it a surprise that it's a success or is it uh because of timing or uh, other factors here so we'll take a look uh on how how this happened and what's to be expected moving forward here Anyway, according to this article at CNBC.com, it says that Taylor Swift uh, era's tour, which is you know her concert that uh, she's going to do all over the world, uh, has gained a significant uh, performance in terms of one of the highest grossing domestic concert film ever in the United States, which is a testament of her uh, popularity here and uh, there and everywhere else in the world. Uh, it mentions here that the the concert has tallied already close to 100 million uh, over the opening weekend, which I didn't know that, you know, even here in the Philippines, that uh, the, the, the film is being shown, which I found it surprising because uh, going to the mall recently over the weekend with my family, I saw there was a long queue for some reason. I didn't, I thought it was for a store or something. It was for a movie. And, it, and I was surprised this doesn't happen often. And I soon realized I saw that there was a uh, screening for for Taylor Swift's, uh, Swift's movie, which I wasn't surprised. But I'm surprised at the same time. <laughs> anyway, so going back to the article here, it mentions that uh, it is one of the highest grossing uh, performances of all time comparing to, to, to Miley Cyrus as well as even Justin Bieber's uh, performances in years past here. It mentioned uh, it had around close to 5 million people who were attended the, the movie over the weekend. So it's going to you know gross even higher uh, in, in, in several weeks time. And typical ticket price is around 20 dollars and 75 cents so you can just imagine the, the 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 box office performance is going to generate uh even worldwide because obviously there's a lot of swifties fans especially nowadays that uh she's in the news uh for dating a nfl athlete uh a, a superstar in itself in itself uh, i'm talking the none other than travis kelsey which my wife didn't know about nfl players but because of Taylor Swift, uh, she she's now familiar with with uh, Travis Kelsey and the Kelsey brothers in this aspect. <laughs> anyway, looking further in in the article, it mentions here that uh, box office analysts uh, said that Swifties in the lead up to the Taylor Swift era's concert to film release, estimating blockbuster opening weekend numbers, and and Miss Swift delivered here. And obviously, there's a big following uh, in terms of, of, of her popularity, of the songs that she made. Uh, a, a lot of songs that you know, a lot of people uh, like, enjoyed. I, I'm not necessarily a big fan of hers, but I enjoyed her music. So she must be doing something right to be this uh, successful and popular here. The, the fact that she's really releasing all of her songs so that she gets to earn all of those uh, uh, revenues directly to her, not like before where she was under contract with uh, music studios, which typically gets to have majority of the earnings uh, of her recordings here, which is, you know, kudos for her for, for, for thinking like that and being patient enough. Anyway, uh, it mentions here that uh, they showcased her film in close to, I think, 
three to three to four thousand film theater theaters domestically. So it just goes to show the the support that she's getting, and was able to outperform some of the uh, biggest blockbuster movies of, of late. Uh, we have here, let's see here, you you have uh, Joker's ninety six million opening weekend. You have even. Uh, doing better than The Little Mermaid's 95.6 million when it opened way back in May here. So being able to perform that way in the weekend, you know, just goes to show that her her concert, now a film, uh, has generated a lot of hype and, you know, a lot of moviegoers, you know, uh, following what she has done recently or what's uh, how they're going to present the content. I'm curious was to see what the content of the film is actually looking like but the question here is what's she going to do moving forward uh, because of her success will she create more movies uh, following her uh, uh, tour uh, within the year or maybe she can do I think I would suggest making several series of films uh, depending on the tour that she is on on that particular year so this year she has the era tour maybe next year she'll do uh, a different theme and moving forward and i think people would be uh encouraged excited to watch her perform and see behind the scenes uh that people don't normally see you know when you're in the concert focusing on on her singing prowess uh being able to be behind the scenes you know i think that would you know get a lot of interest from a lot of fans that's why the movie's doing well i think similar to how comedians are doing nowadays instead of just doing comedy clubs bars and so forth to a small audience you know making comedy specials like dave chappelle uh and and, and the likes uh, are using the platform to, to to reach a wider audience obviously uh get paid a lot more money whether it's netflix or other stream services offering a plethora of, of of money to to showcase their contents and prowess and talents is you know a big boon for all of us which is clamoring for great contents nowadays and obviously uh, there's a lot to be expected when when you know movies like this th does well compared to other uh, high budgeted films with does mediocre in the box office here so it's interesting to see what it would look like by the end of its run compared uh if you tally all of the performances uh, internationally as well as domestically which i think you know it's, it's safe to say it's it's possible that she might reach a half a billion dollars in revenue uh with the way it's sh it's showing but you know if it does closer to two to three hundred it's still a big uh, big coup cool because of the budget that they they spend compared to actual sci-fi films that they have to spend north of 100 to 200 million just to be able to to produce a film i think in her case you need a, a smaller budget so the, the more money that they're able to generate hundreds tens of hundreds or half a billion dollar would be a big boon which would encourage her to produce more films uh, succeeding films in the future which i think a lot of fans would be glad to to hear about that so we'll see what other artists are going to do will they follow suit which i think they should imagine you know the beatles are able to do that uh you know uh, elvis was able to do that in in his prime before his passing imagine the the, the fans are are going crazy about it then you have other current you know singer artists you know, Paul McCartney, uh, Rolling Stones, U2, Ed Sheeran, you know, the list goes on and on and on. You could just imagine all those artists, bands, you know, that are really that popular, whether in the past or present, when they do their tour, they create their own film that they can release as a special on top of the concert tool, the, the music, uh, the music uh, that they sell, and then on top of the films that they generate. I think it's going to be you know uh, go make them a ton of money and you know fans are going to be glad to to watch their contents to to their hearts desire even i imagine if queen freddie mercury was still alive i mean a lot of queen concerts you know movies that's been talked about but movies for their concerts that's going to be done as a special i think that's uh, I think Taylor Swift has hit the mark. I think other artists should follow suit here. So we'll wait and see here. Anyway, are you a big Swifty fan here? Leave your comments down below.
And if that's it for this week, come back again on Wednesday for more business update. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.